Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and today we're going to be doing a quick dish and we're just going to be doing up some uh, potatoes, a can of roast beef, some mushrooms, a couple of seasonings, and a little bit of gravy. We're going to put it all together to make a wonderful meal for you and your family with your preps and we're going to start putting this together and you're going to see how this all looks. So get your cast iron frying pan out and let's get cooking. All right, we're back folks. Now we took and we rinsed our potatoes. We opened up our meat. We strained off our mushrooms and stuff. So now it is time to get cooking. So as I said in my last video last week, if you have a long lighter here, lighting this is a lot easier and a lot safer. So let's turn the gas on and voila. See how easy that was? Now we want to turn that heat down. Two tablespoons of oil. Or a little bit more. You're cooking potatoes and stuff. You want to get enough to coat the whole bottom of the pan. All right? Now, a trick to this dish is control the heat. You want to control the heat. We're going to let that heat up for just a second. All right, so everybody should have, like, your spices, all right? Mince onion, either if you buy it freeze-dried, dehydrated, you do it yourself, whatever. But having minced onion and garlic powder and all that kind of stuff is going to be a real great benefit in a grid down emergency type situation. So let's get our potatoes going. All right, the sound we all want to hear. Now, we want to get some minced onion in there. Now, it's all on how much you like. You can add as much as you want. It's to your tasting. A little bit of garlic powder, just to give it a, a nice little kick. All right? Like I said before, folks, just because an emergency situation doesn't mean that whatever you're cooking has to be bad. All right, a little salt for those potatoes. And now we're just gonna let these cook for a few minutes and we'll get going on the rest of this. Stay tuned. Now, while our potatoes are over here cooking, there's a few things that I wanna bring to your attention that everybody should really realize. Cast iron. Cast iron is the best thing to have. You can buy these cool little things right here. I knew I had one, had to find it. You can slide that right over the end there, over the handle, and now you don't have to worry about if you grab that handle, burning yourself or anything like that. But having cast iron is a great addition to any prepper's survival kit because cast iron is known to last for ages. This particular frying pan that I'm cooking in right here is older than me. This frying pan is anywhere between 65 and 75 years old and has been cooked over open flames, on stoves, the whole nine yards, you name it, it's been through it and it still works great. It's a well seasoned cooking utensil that you need to have in your press. Now, all right, as our potatoes have been cooking here now for a few minutes and stuff, let's add some mushrooms. Now, one thing to remember folks, all right? When you're cooking with your cast iron, don't walk away, don't leave it, unless you're doing like soups or stews or something like that. Make sure that you are here tinning it and you keep stirring it, especially when you're cooking like potatoes and stuff because they will start to stick to the bottom. And then they'll start to burn, and now you got a big, huge cleanup mess and everything else. So we got our mushrooms in there. All right. Let's go ahead and throw in our shredded roast beef that we did. As you can see, it's all kind of shredded. So it's very easy to incorporate this. into your meal. Now we're going to stir this up again. 
Now when you're using cast iron, you want to make sure you have a good solid spatula, all right? Your grilling stuff would work great, having a good solid metal so you can scrape right down to the bottom and get all that goodness right off the bottom is going to go a long way to making your life a lot easier. Yes, plastic would work in a pinch. We're in a pinch. It's an emergency situation. So now we're going to add the star ingredient. Gravy. Beef gravy. If you guys choose to buy and store for long term the packets of different types of gravies and stuff, just remember, all you got to do is vacuum seal those suckers in a vacuum seal bag and those things are going to last for quite a while, all right? I would highly suggest storing those type of things for long term in a very cool, dry place. Maybe even if you have room in your refrigerator, if you want to put them in there. Uh, but as long as you can store them somewhere cool and dry. But today we're cheating and I'm just using a can out of my working pantry, a jar of Heinz Savory Beef. We're going to pour that in there. And what we're going to do is reduce the heat. You want to get it to almost a simmer. So if you look, you can see that that is just barely going. All right. Now we're going to stir this up. Now, there's a few different things that you could do with this dish at this point in time. You could add in any type of vegetables that you want to do. You could put corn in here, you could put green beans, you could put carrots, you can almost make it like a stew. But you don't have to. If you don't have those things and you just had these few ingredients, even if you just had the meat and the potatoes and the can, you could do this and there you go. And we're just going to let this simmer for about two or three minutes. All right, folks, it's been about two or three minutes. Turn the heat off. She's done. She's ready to plate and serve. All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're going to pour some of this into this lovely bowl right here. You could take and scrape what left of goodness is in that frying pan out. All right. Now, I want to take a little bit, spoon it in here for a little taste test. Mm. It smells delicious, folks. I mean, you, you just can't go wrong. I mean, it's very simple for you to do. Let's give it a taste test. Caution. Contents may be hot. Just figured I better say that since... Everybody else, when you buy something, they have to tell you that nowadays. If you're buying a hot cup of coffee, you know, hey, it's going to be hot. Mmm. That is, that is so delicious. So easy for you to do, for you and your family. And what did it take? hardly any time at all a few ingredients can go a long way so like I said you could add to this dish and make it even more nutritious if you wanted to you could you could put in your own green beans corn carrots whatever kind of vegetable you do like you could throw it in there but in a quick emergency type situation this is a great meal for you and your family so once again I'm survival preparedness for beginners Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping. And we're going to learn how to use our preps and how to make quick, easy meals for you and your family. Till next time, catch you all on the flip side.